Слава Україні! Героям слава! Слава нації! Смерть ворога! Україна! Понад усе! Україна! Понад усе! Україна! Понад усе! Героям України тричі! Слава! 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 My friends, modern war is not like ancient war. We do not throw people at the enemy. The Russian regime does that. Ukraine cannot afford to do it. Ukraine cherishes its people. Ukraine cherishes its soldiers. That's why we cannot do it. We need weapons to win this war. Because as the ancient saying goes, arms keep peace. When somebody armed to the teeth is coming to kill you, kind words will not stop them. Your values, no matter what they might be, will not stop them. Your agreements with any other country in the world will not stop them. Even if they decide to help, by the time they come to you, you'll be long dead. That, my friends, is the reason why Ukraine needs weapons. That is why Ukraine needs to be able to fight back for its existence against the Russian terrorist regime. The air defense systems in particular are unbelievably important to save the lives of the Ukrainian civilians and soldiers. Because the Russians, they never shied away from striking civilian targets. In fact, the civilian targets are sometimes their main target. Terror warfare. A war that is waged by waging a war of terror on the enemy. By inflicting fear. That, my friend, something very close to terrorism. But terrorism has another quality that needs to be met. And that the Russian terrorist regime meets every single time. Intent. To intend to kill the people that you have killed. Sometimes accidents happen in war. But the Russian terrorist regime has not made all of these killings, these tortures, these captures as an accident. Nobody tortures a person by accident. Nobody rapes someone by accident. It's impossible. It's always done with the intent to do as such. The Russian terrorist regime continues to do it. And they will continue to do it until they are stopped. Russia has no borders. This is a saying very popular in the Russian regime's propaganda machine. And Putin says this very often himself. Russia has no borders. Is Putin such a liberal that he's opening borders to anyone? No, my friends. That's not what this saying means. It means Russia will expand until it is stopped. That's why Russia has no borders for Putin. That's why Ukraine will not be the end. Ukraine will merely be the first step for a full-blown invasion of Europe. And now, as we said before, my friends, Russia can beat every European country one by one. If they don't unite. This is why Russia loves isolationists so much. Individuals who don't want to send weapons to Ukraine. Individuals who claim that Ukraine is not their country. Why should we help Ukraine? But my friends, they should. Because we need to stop this evil now. With real power, strength, which is the only thing that the Russian terrorist regime understands. Might makes right. That is the law in Russia. He who holds power dictates everything. And those who have no power suffer as much as those with power desire them to. That is the future that Russia envisions. That is the future they are trying to implement. In every country they decide to invade in every country, they blame of being some sort of a Nazi country. At the same time as their Khan shills for Hitler and says that it was the Polish who have provoked him to attack. Of course he shills for Hitler. 
he's acting just like Hitler. My friends, the solution to this war is simple. It's not easy, but it is simple. Simplicity itself, to arm Ukraine so that peace can be brought back. Because it wasn't Ukraine who destroyed peace. It wasn't Ukraine who killed it. It was Russia. Russia has started this war. Russia has escalated this war. So why would any individual expect this war to end if Ukraine stops fighting back? If Ukraine stops defending itself? Ukraine is not the country that took initiative in the beginning of this situation. It's nonsensical. That is why, my friends, we have to remind everybody in the world that this is not a complicated issue. This is not a gray situation where both sides are to blame. This is a situation where one country gives up the third biggest nuclear arsenal in the world and the other country that promised to not attack them if they gave up their nukes decides to attack them because they left themselves open. Because Russia does not recognize diplomacy, does not recognize treaties. They still continue to spread lies as if NATO had promised not to expand to the east. No such treaty was signed. Mikhail Gorbachev himself, who was interviewed on this matter, has said so himself that nobody was cheated, nobody was fooled. There was no treaty. And when these Russophiles, they claim, oh, but there was this treaty. Just ask them, what was the treaty called? Ask, and you shall receive nothing. They don't know, because it doesn't exist. But my friends, the important thing for all of us to remember is to remind the whole world that Ukraine needs arms to survive and to protect itself and to bring peace back to Europe. Because arms keep peace. Arm Ukraine as you promised. 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 Promise. More sanctions on Russia. 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 Fight the jet. For Ukraine. Fight the jets 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 for Ukraine. Seize Russian assets. 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 Air defense for Ukraine. Air defense. Air defense for Ukraine. Air defense for Ukraine. Air defense for Ukraine. Air defense for Ukraine. Stop Russia, stop the war. Stop Russia, stop the war. Stop Russia, stop the war. Stop 